two, one. What's, What's up? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Dustin and Akina here from Duo Travel Blog. Right about now, we're in downtown Dubrovnik, and we're gonna try out some Bosnian food. Bosnian. Bosnian food in Dubrovnik. I'm getting pretty excited. Let's do this. Yay! Alright, before we get that Bosnian food, I think we'd best be checking out this Croatian bakery first. What do you think, boss? Sounds good to me. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so we got us a haul of three different kinds of breads over here. The Maniac's got herself a boomerang shaped piece of bread. So let's see what we got. Ta -da! Wow. Look, Look at, that at that fucking thing. It's chilling there. Why don't you take yourself a magnificent bite? Holy shit. Look at that savage as fuck bite. Mm. Damn, boy. What's it tasting like? This is like, outside it's kind of crispy and it tastes like olive oil and slightly salty. Crispy, mm. olive oil, salty action. Let me take myself a bite. How much was this puppy? Three kunas? I think so. It's practically free. I really like it. Mmm. Oh nice. yeah. It's good. I feel like the outside is slightly crispy and the inside is kind of chewy and I think it'd go well with wine, personally. Are these gluten-free pieces of bread we got here or is it maximum gluten? Maximum. There we go. That was tasting magnifique as fuck. Question is, how many Dalmatian dogs would you give it? Four. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a four out of five Dalmatian dogs. I mean, for the price, it was pretty damn good. At least in my opinion. I really like the saltiness. Yeah, that saltiness and that olive oil flavor really hit the spot. All right, next up is time for this cheese bread action. At least it looks like cheese bread. I don't actually know what the hell it is, but holy shit, look at that fucking thing. Wow. Just fucking wow. If that ain't a good looking piece of bread, then I sure as hell don't know what is. Look at that fucking thing, I can barely restrain myself from taking myself a savage bite. Looks like there's sausage in there. Sausage? Really? Yeah, doesn't it? Oh yeah, there is. I think there actually is. I didn't notice that before. Alright, here we go, baby. Itadakimasu. Ham. It's ham? Hmm. Nice. Ham and cheese, baby! I like this dough. This is also kind of crispy. Alright, let me try a bite of this puppy. Mmm. Check it out, we got even more ham action inside this puppy. I don't know how I feel about it. On the one hand, I like all that ham. I like that burned cheese. But on the other hand, I feel like it's a tad too starchy and too, I don't know, empty calorie-esque for my liking. What do you think, boss? I think I want some more ham in there. I think I want more burned cheese and some multi-grain action in this puppy. I don't know, what do you think? I'm thinking I'm gonna give this a three out of five. Dalmatian dogs. Dogs. Nevertheless, a decent piece of bread. Last up, we got some kind of apple bun on deck. Let's check it out, baby. Looks kind of like a pie. 
Yeah, it looks like some kind of crazy ass borderline greasy pie. All right, well the fucking thing ain't gonna eat itself, right? So why don't you take yourself a magnificent bite there, Akina? Whoa, boy. Hmm. Sounds crunchy as fuck. It's more crunchy than pies. <clears throat> more crunchy than hmm. a pie, huh? Yeah, it sounds crunchtastic. It's sweet, but not too sweet. I like it. Good for tea. Let me try myself a bite. Be the ball. The outside is crunchy as fuck, and the inside is chewy as hell. Yeah, it's got a subtle sweetness to it on the inside and a slight apple flavor, and I think it's pretty good. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to give that one a 3 out of 5 Dalmatian dogs as well. It does seem like it would taste pretty good with some tea. Do you know what I have? What I have with me? Tea. Alright, so we arrived at a restaurant called Taj Mahal. I don't know why the place is called Taj Mahal, but they do serve up Bosnian food. Check it out, baby. We've arrived at the Taj Mahal. Hall. For some odd reason, this Taj Mahal serves up Bosnian food. I don't exactly know what the master plan is with that one. Nevertheless, I started off with this Tarhana soup, and it's looking pretty delish, if you ask me. I think the menu said it's made from vegetables and crushed up noodles, but I don't remember exactly. All I know is that puppy was piping hot, so I took myself a cautious sip and what the heck? Am I missing something here? The soup tastes like bog standard basic tomato soup. I mean, it almost has no flavor whatsoever, and considering the price, I think I'm gonna have to rate this soup a 1 out of 5 Dalmatian dogs. After all, aside from that cheese on top, there's pretty much nothing in this soup, and I must say I'm pretty disappointed. But the main dishes we ordered seem to be a tad more promising. Case in point, take a look at this one Akina got. It's called Vaseli Boznak, aka the Cheerful Bosnian, and man, oh man, there's a lot of meat on that plate. I might even go as far as to say as there's too much meat, but hey, Akina ordered it, so I guess she pretty much has to eat it now. So after doing her Itadaki Masu, she started wildly cutting into that meat. Then after a bit of a struggle, she was able to cut that meat. Then she took herself a gigantic bite like a trailblazing Asian. And the question I have, Akina, is just how did that cheerful Bosnian taste? So as soon as I had the first bite, I really liked the meal because it had a really nice taste from veggies and cheese in inside. But the thing was the meat outside was kind of hard to cut with the butter knife. So I would lose the inside as I cut. So I had to wrap it again, which was not really beautiful to see as you eat it. So I would rate this one maybe with four out of five dogs. Sounds like a pretty legit review to me, baby cakes. So at this point, Akina started filming me, filming myself eating the cheerful Bosnian. And oh my dogs, something about that rolled rump steak, roasted vegetable, and rich cheese filling really hit home. It was tasting so good it almost brought a tear to my eye, but then again, as Akina said, it was kind of hard to cut it without the ingredients flying out. So actually, I think I'm also going to rate this a 4 out of 5 Dalmatian dogs, but nevertheless, it still was a pretty decent hunk of meat. And next up, here's my main dish, a little thing I like to call the Taj Mahal House Specialty. Here we got some kind of calzone-esque concoction complete with baked potato on the side. Seems to me like the calorically dense empty calorie explosion I've been dreaming about. So after admiring that house specialty for but a moment, I took myself a hunger-crazed bite. And the precise nanosecond in time that I took that bite, I was literally stunned. It's almost as though that buck-wild Bosnian bite was designed specifically for me. 
It had a soft, warm, slightly crispy crunch, and it had a shitload of calories jammed inside. There was veal, lamb, mushrooms, and some slightly sour cheese in there, and I must say I was loving every second of it, but right about now I'm kinda wondering. Just what did you think about it, Akina? So, the best thing about this food is the dough. It's so crispy, it kind of reminds me of pasta from the UK. And the inside was kind of more subtle than the other one because it doesn't have any veggies in it, just meat, and that was kind of cheesy too. So, I guess I will rate this one with dough out of 5 dogs. It's a pretty nice fucking review right there, but in my humble opinion, that bad boy was actually worthy of a 5 out of 5 Dalmatian dogs. Reason being, because not only was it jam-packed with all kinds of different calories, but it was also tasting simply incredible. So if you want to see more of this Balkan food tour, then feel free to check out the first episode or the next episode. I got links to those videos down below in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let us know what you think.